Hey everybody, it's Utini and welcome to another episode of Game Design 101 where we're going to talk about core loops and game mechanics. Now, a game mechanic and core loop is a silly. Hey, oh, what, hey what everybody, is going? it's Utini and welcome to another episode of Game Oh, I get it because it's like we're talking about game loops, about so it's, core loops it's looping and going. Game mechanics. So it's now, kind of funny. Game and and, and, core loop and uh, is uh, wait, what? Hey, oh, okay. Hey, well, okay, it's this is starting to get kind of crazy, guys. Oh, another episode um, of Game Design 101 where we're going to talk about core loops and game mechanics. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, okay, that weirdness is over. I don't know what that was. But like I said, we're talking about core game loops and game mechanics today. So, this is further going to lay the foundation for our game that we started last week when we talked about the four questions to get us started. If you haven't watched that video, I definitely make sure to go into the description and click the link below so that you can check it out. Because again, these are all going to go sequentially in order and it'll help you to go from the beginning all the way to the end of making a game here in Rec Room. So let's check it out. So what is a core game loop exactly? Well, it's the primary action the player takes in your game that loops over and over. For example, Rec Room Original Quests, it's run through the level, use items, score points, repeat. These primary actions are looped over and over and key to achieving the main goal of the game, which in this case is the highest rank possible at the end of the game. Oh, I want that coveted S rank. The actions in the game loop are the core mechanics or the rules of the game. The player must learn them to achieve the game's goal. In Quest for the Golden Trophy, the player runs through the level attacking enemies with items to earn the highest score for your rank. The core mechanics are run, jump, items, and score. It's important to note that these mechanics are the lowest level mechanics. It's like a pyramid where each level supports the next level. Golden Trophy has run, jump, items, scores at its base. The next level is what are those items and how are they used? They are weapons that attack enemies. The jump mechanic allows for movement in the air, and run can lead to the ability to slide. Lastly, points go to your final score and ranking. It's easy to continue to add levels of mechanics to your game, but I warn, it's not an elegant way to design a good game. You want to keep your loop and mechanics simple. This gives the designer a better chance to have a game that is easy to learn, yet difficult to master, causing replayability, challenge, and enjoyment for the player. So, during this video series, I'm creating a horror game called Death in Darkness. This is going to show you how to actually use these concepts in the videos to make games in Rec Room. So, here are my four questions that we answered last week in the video that I created. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check out below the link so that you can answer the questions and follow along with us. So, in Death in Darkness, the number one goal is that you need to escape the darkness. Looking at this, we can see that my game loop is manipulating the light, evade enemies, and escape. That's what you're gonna be doing over and over again in this game as you play. Now, I want you all to take your four questions that you created and go ahead and write out your game loops and mechanics and put them in the comments below. That's right, we wanna give everybody in each other feedback as we're making our games. This is one of the most important aspects of the game design process, which is to pitch your ideas often, take critique, and tweak. It will lead to super solid ideas that will be ready for next week when we're finally going to start building out a prototype in Rec Room. Hey everyone, I hope this video helped a ton and now you're learning about game loops and mechanics. This is really cool stuff and I can't wait to see what else we got going on. Now, don't forget, if you love these videos, to like and subscribe below. Also, don't forget to join the Creative Club here. The Creative Club is the perfect place to be able to come and hang out with all of us and join me as we're all building together and creating great stuff. So again, until then, Utidi out.